If you try to fail, but succeed, which one did you do? Does a hot girl summer imply the existence of a cold boy winter or a chilly non-binary autumn? If you have an existential crisis while playing hide and seek, do you automatically lose because you can't find yourself? If art is how we decorate space, is music how we decorate time? Anxiety is just conspiracy theories about yourself. In order to fall asleep, you have to pretend to be asleep. It doesn't make any sense. So many questions. Not enough answers. Welcome to Disorientation. I'm your hostess, Jan Sport. And <laughs> no, not the backpack, but much like it, I'm here to help you whenever you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And speaking of, we're gonna forget all about that today and just relax as we let the world do its crazy thing around us. There are so many things that I like to do when I switch off. I love to watch TV. I love to take a bubble bath. I love to have an existential crisis. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I literally said we were not gonna do that today. Anyways, moving right along, our first entertainer is here to give us a college campus tour, which reminds me that I started college 10 years ago. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go start that bubble bath. Welcome our first guest, Jay Love! That color looks so good on you. I'm a black girl. All colors look good on me. Bro, where are these ugly kids? I have margaritas at six, they need to come on. Hey guys, my name is Ashley, welcome to campus. I'm gonna be your orientation leader. Um, let's start with a little information about the school. So right behind me is the library. Um, I like to go here to eat lunch, gossip with my friends. Sometimes I'll take a nap, but apparently you can study in here too. Okay, so we're gonna stop right here and do a quick little icebreaker. You're gonna state your name and something you're afraid of. I'll go first. My name is Ashley and I'm afraid to check my grades. So I'm supposed to share my favorite fun fact about the school with you guys. So if you go to the building behind this library on the fifth floor, the bathroom is soundproof. So you can cry after you fail an exam. So this is my least favorite lecture hall. There's no Wi-Fi in there. So you actually have to pay attention in class. That's not really my vibe, but if you like that, cool. So we call this part of campus Squirrel City because there's so many squirrels in this area. I actually had a squirrel ask me to the homecoming game last semester. Okay, so does anyone have any questions so far? Yes. Study tips? Mm, I'm not really sure what those are, but I can show you how to cheat. So this is our athletic building. I personally don't play any sports, but I do like to take a nice jog every once in a while to the ice cream shop that's like down the block. You in the back. Tips on financial aid? Um, go like this and then wait for money to fall out of the sky because that's as lucky as you'll get. Why did I pick this school? I actually don't go here. I just come here because I like the vibes. And I did that, did that, you know, put my little stank on it. I miss the traffic light, I miss the indoor dive, miss running out of time. I miss the real life stores, I miss my friends, of course, I miss the good outdoors. Oh, been eating ramen till it's four. So annoying, I mean, what's the point of life? It's not avoiding, I legit can't go outside. I'll be in my room, I'll be in my room, I'll be in my room with nothing else to do. I'll be in my room, I'll be in my room.
I've been in quarantine. I mean, like, I legit didn't even know what quarantine was until they told me that I had to quarantine. Been eating ramen till it's 4 a.m. at night. And in the morning, I'm like, why is the sun so bright? It's so annoying. I mean, what's the point of life? It's not avoiding. Oh, Coco, that was beautiful. Well, y'all, our second episode of Disorientation is all wrapped up. And speaking of wrapped up, can I get this to go? Thank you. Anyways, y'all, I hope this episode made you laugh out loud and ultimately relax. I'm so happy I'm not thinking about starting college 10 years ago. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, remember, Disorientation is a series, so we have more iconic and ironic episodes heading your way soon. And you know what else is iconic and ironic? This gal. So I'm going to go share that with the rest of the world. But don't worry, we'll be back next week with another episode. And head over to Jansport's YouTube right now for some more videos. See you soon. <laughs>